With Aurora's inventory syncing feature, you can keep your inventory up to date on all of your sales channels, hands-free. What this means is that Aurora was consistently pulling orders from all of your sales channels to update the available quantities, and then we push those updated quantities back to all of your sales channels. So if you have an order come in on one sales channel, your other sales channels will recognize the decrease in inventory due to that order. This tutorial is going to go over how that sync works, how to check and update your sync settings, and how to see what quantities are writing back to each channel. So let's get started. The actual inventory sync is hard to demonstrate, so we came up with this slide. And basically what happens is you'll see right now we have a quantity of 10 available on both of our sales channel 1 and 2, and a 10 in Ordoro. But what happens if an order comes in on your sales channel 1? That sales channel will recognize that the inventory went down, but Ordoro and the other sales channel don't notice that yet. So when we pull that order into Ordoro, we update the inventory within Ordoro. And once we've pulled in all of the orders, then we write back inventory to all of the sales channels so that they are all updated and in sync and you'll have the same quantities across all of them. Now, to make sure that you're writing back inventory to your sales channels and see which ones you're writing back to, you can go to your Ordoro app and click this blue sync button in the top right corner. And you'll see right now I don't have inventory right back turned on but I can select a couple of carts that I would like to sync inventory with and click Update Auto Sync Settings. And what that means is when I've updated the Auto Sync Settings is that from now on whenever an Auto Sync runs, which is typically hourly, uh, we'll go ahead and import those orders and update inventory on the sale, all of the sales channels. So once we have that set, we can also go to a product section and see which sales channels a product is associated with, as well as what quantity it's writing back to that sales channel. So you'll see here um, in this sales channels column, this product is only writing back to this channel, this one's only to this channel, and then we have this one here that shows that it is multi-channel. So for these that are just writing back to these channels, you can see the write back quantity, 0, 1,999, um, and then for this multi-channel, if we expand it, you'll see the quantity that's writing back to both of these carts is 251. And that's basically all you have to do to kind of see what it is writing back to your channels um, and modify inventory. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.